In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a refined storage mod. Let's start by putting down a controller. Put power into this, and it will power everything. You can put a disk drive next to it. Put in a storage disk. You can use 1K, or you can use up to 64K. And then you'll need a grid to access it. So this will have as many slots as you put in here. So as you can see, we'll have 65,000 items because we have a 1K and a 64K. So next, let's attach a fluid grid. You can put cables between these if you want to. It doesn't really matter. You could have this going up 100 blocks. And to access the fluid grid, you need to add fluid storage. So that's just like that. So you can have 64,000 millibuckets. This one's a little tricky because each millibucket is a thousandth of a bucket. So that means it can only store 64, but that's still quite a lot. So you can see we just shift click our lava buckets, and they get stored in there. And let's just put some stuff in our storage, and let's say we wanted to make an iron pickaxe. Well, we need to get a pattern grid, just like that. It has the same storage since it's connected to the same controller. And by the way, you can see how much FE these are all taking, and the total is right here. So it's just 11 FE per tick. And if we put in a pattern right here, and then let's say we want to make a bunch of iron pickaxes. It doesn't take any because this is not actually real iron. We can't take it out. And then you can see I've got an iron pickaxe here. Just click create, and it makes an iron pickaxe. And then we just set a crafter up to here, just like that. And we can put in this. That's an iron pickaxe. and then. You can see that you have craft under here. So let's say you're out of iron pickaxes and you want to make 10 more. Start. And you can see you need to craft 10. We have 30 of these available and 20 of these available. So you can start. And it's crafting them. You can't craft them if you already have them in the storage. So you will have to take them out if you want to craft more when you already have some. We can also, you can see that it took a little while. Uh, it's not that slow, but if you're crafting like stacks and stacks of stuff, it can get quite slow. So if we just take these out, you can see it says craft again. So we craft more, but we can make it faster with a speed upgrade. So we just put one in each slot, and it'll make it a little faster every time you put one in. And then we click craft, and then we make 10, start, start, and then you can see it just basically instantly made that 10. It's super fast when you have these. It can also make this wireless in case you don't want to go to your storage every time, but you are reasonably close. So you can attach this to a cable or whatever component you want. Then you can take this. So we can also make this go further with range upgrades. You can see it's 16 blocks right now, and then it goes up to 48 blocks. And now it can go pretty far away and still access it. You could even, like, have these torches around your base if your base is so big that you can't get to it within 48 blocks. Alright, now let's get to compatibility with other mods. So if we have a drawer set up like that, then we can hook up external storage, and you can see, even though this is set up to a drawer, it still counts towards our iron pickaxes. We only had 10 here before. If we take out some iron pickaxes, we only have 16 now. We could also set this up to an importer, and it will start taking in these iron pickaxes. So you can see the number is going up, and there's no more iron pickaxes in here. This works with fluids as well. We can get an importer, just like that, set it to fluid mode, and then it will start taking in the water, removing it to our fluid grid. And that's about it for this super simple tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed and found it useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!